first time, the first time when she was diagnosed, she was at stage two bladder cancer. They treated her. The tumor shrank considerably. She went back for, after six months, she went back to the doctor. They did came in and said, Mrs. McCarty, you are at stage four cancer. If you do not have your bladder removed, you will die within six months. I think people would be more apt to go with palliative care than with hospice because a lot of people think, oh, once you're in hospice, that's it, you're terminal, that's it, there's, there's nothing else left for your care. Um, I would have liked to have been informed about it because I think it would have helped your grandmother tremendously with that care. Well, not being the medical directive as Judy is and, and very connected and being there all the time, I would go once a week and and basically my take on it was um, hospice was offered. It was a good fit for what mom had. However, watching her over the last, over those eight months, ten months, um, what was hard to watch was she was made to be comfortable. She was pretty much bedridden because she wouldn't do the therapies. And part of it was her giving up. You know, it basically was an existence. And I, I think, um, you know, not having the goal of trying to get better. Right. I think hospice is like, you know, you're not going to get better, so you just be comfortable. When maybe through that time, if there was other options, maybe more physical therapy, more uh, recreational therapy done to her, um, more interactional therapies. Um, I wish there was something more that was given to us right. because if there was something more we would have looked at that we would have looked okay instead of going to hospice let's do this first to see maybe there's something different out there that she could go for um, we know what hospice care is it's care to end of life so but I would like to know I think we have to have more information out there about what is palliative care and what are the options.